Okay, so this will just be a quick video going over some electromagnetic effects and a bit of a mystery that I'm trying to figure out right now. Um, if you followed my channel, uh, in the past you've seen me experiment with uh, PMH. Uh, it's an electromagnetic configuration that will hold the uh, residual magnetism. It will lock it to the keeper even after removing the power source. So what we have here is soft iron. This is an electromagnet. And your conventional electromagnet, as long as it's energized with energy, it becomes electromagnet. With this configuration, one spike of energy, and this stays an electromagnet. You can see here that this is locked. Now this will stay this way until I remove the keeper. As soon as I remove this keeper, and it takes a bit of force, this magnetism is gone. There is no more uh, magnetic effect here. And uh, I would have to energize this again to get that back. So, now that basic effect, um, it's reported on the internet that this was used by NASA to create some boots. And I'll go ahead and put a link to that in this video description. Go check that out. But the uh, story in these boots is that this guy could walk, you know, upside downs by just energizing, locking uh, to the metal surface and hanging up there. And then, of course, at any time, if you energize this with a reverse uh, polarity, you get to break free. And that enabled him to walk, at least that's what's reported. So very interesting, uh, check out the link on that. So while this effect is incredibly interesting in and of itself, what I wanna show here is uh, something a little more rare. Uh, a long time ago I saw a YouTube video where a guy had two coils and uh, he was experimenting with materials like, um, oh, just different uh, transformer core materials. And I'll try to see if I can find a link to his video and put that on this video as well. But one of the things he showed is that with a, with a material such as this, now I found this transformer core, it has no re residual magnetism. So it's a great electromagnet as long as it's uh, energized. The minute you remove the power, it uh, breaks free. There's no residual magnetism at all with this uh, particular core. Now, what this guy showed in his video is that if he shorted another coil, then he had residual magnetism. And the question is, you know, where, why is that? Um, I would like to find a clear answer on that. Uh, leave comments if you have any ideas. Let me just show you the effect here. So, again, we have good magnetic latching until power is removed, just as you would expect. Now, let me just explain the, uh, the makeup of this coil. I've got one layer of 18 gauge wire, top to bottom on the inside. And then I filled the coil with 30 gauge wire. So there's uh, one low turn count uh, coil here, and then a very high turn count with 30 gauge wire coil here. Now, if I short this external coil uh, like this, so it's completely shorted to itself, and energize it the same as before, we'll now get the uh, magnetic latching effect. So you can see there that this is now holding its magnetism. Now, it's very interesting to me, folks. That's a bit of a, uh, a mystery to me. Obviously, this coil is functioning in some way. I don't know if it's the induct inductance of the coil or what it is to allow the magnetic latching effect. And uh, I really would like to explore and see if the temperature of this uh, coil makes a difference. I already put this in the freezer and it seemed to me that after lowering the temperature it did hold longer. But I'll have to do more testing to verify that. But uh, it doesn't hold permanently like the soft iron does, but it holds for quite a while. So you can see the length of time that it holds there. And if you compare that to, you know, without that shorted coil, you get just nothing. So, just instant release. So very fascinating. Um, leave comments if you have any uh, ideas as to why this is, or any principles that I could work off of to control this. Um, I have a hunch, based on my experimenting so far, that the more wines I have on this second coil, the longer hold time I can get. But I would really like to have a better understanding of this. Um, like I said, feel free to leave comments. Make sure you check out the uh, article um, on the NASA radius boots. And uh, hey, let's all keep experimenting, sharing what we find, and I'll try to get to the bottom of this, try to get some answers on this.